Well, the journey behind the song Glorious King, um, it's kind of twofold. Um, walking through a crisis time in our lives personally, as a couple, myself and my wife, but also in the private place uh, with God, just getting some amazing revelation. And it's funny how in life we often walk blessing and crisis at the same time. It, that we're kind of called to both this road marked with suffering that we've heard a lot about over the last number of years is kind of a part of the joy that we walk as well. The fullness of Christ is in both. And um, when uh, our daughter Charlotte was born, uh, after about a year or so, we noticed that um, she wasn't responding well to us. And uh, we went and took her for some tests and sure enough, um, she had some pretty major hearing problems. In fact, she, didn't, she couldn't hear at all. She was basically getting flatline from both ears when they tested her. And so we began a journey with our daughter. And it's, you know, it's funny, when, when, you, when you're sick, you can handle it. But when your kids are sick, it's, it's a bit of a deal. Uh, and it's hot. you'd rather go through it for them. You don't want them to have to go through stuff. And, and watching Charlotte um, walking through these tests week in, week out, having to learn Makaton to be able to communicate, you know, start even getting, you know, through nursery and stuff like that, communicating with friends was difficult and it was a really painful time for us. But at the same time as walking this and in the private place, God had been teaching me a lot about his kingship and um, particularly from the Old Testament and the loyalty that people showed to their kings. And I would often find myself on my knees in my own personal time and, and it was almost like in my mind as I closed my eyes and bowed my knee I could see a king was like knighting me as it were and, and it was kind of God's timing for my life personally to actually stand up and begin to say something to stand up and begin to minister or almost it was almost like a commissioning in the spirit uh, but anyway while we're walking this tough journey with Charlotte and I'm beginning to get this uh, revelation uh, I was sat in a conference with uh, Godfrey Bertel and um, he was, we were just chatting over lunch one day and he was talking about what's, what's God talking to you about at the moment and we were talking about, I was sharing vulnerably about what I was seeing uh, in the spirit just in my own private time and, and the more I spoke the more his jaw was falling open and so I eventually said Godfrey what's, what's going on and he says well I've just got back from Brownsville, this is a number of years ago now, just got back from Brownsville and um, They've had a sword made um, for commissioning people in the spirit into God's work for their lives and God's purposes for their lives. Almost like they needed to be knighted. He was sat at a table and he's saying this to me. And he says, anyway, while I was over there, they sensed that the sword needed to come to the UK. He says, I managed to get it into the UK. He says, it's here, I've got it, it's at home. So... Basically, long story short, he says, I'm going to go and get it. So he went and fetched this sword. And uh, we walked into a conference of five or 6,000 people later, later that week. And um, during certain moments in different services, we began commissioning people. So what had happened in what I'd seen in the private place, all of a sudden came to an extremely public place. And I found myself personally on my knees in a very public place, being knighted with this sword that had been sent to the UK for commissioning people. And it was almost like the fulfillment of what God had been saying. But I tell that story because at the end of that journey, having walked with our daughter through this crisis for like two and a half years with, with no sleep because she couldn't hear. So it was, it was a horrible time for her and for us as a couple that um, the day that I wrote the song Glorious King, um, she was having a test again. We had this test every six weeks and every six weeks we got the same answer. Zero hearing, zero hearing, week in, week out. The day I wrote the song, um, I got a call from uh, my mum who took her for the test again because we'd take her for a myriad of these tests and 70% um, of her hearing had come back, uh, which we bless God for and thank him for and just believe that the things that we walk in terms of blessing and crisis, God often brings the two together uh, to, for something beautiful to be made from that. And so we're blessed to see our daughter doing fantastically well. And, and also blessed to see what God's been able to do through that song in healing in other people's lives. And so the tune to Glorious King is actually called Charlotte after my daughter. So there we go.